Hello everyone! I am so excited to film today's video as I will be sharing my thoughts about some of the new fragrance releases of 2023. I've tested these perfumes at least a day or two just for me to be able to give you a reasonable review. And yeah, that's why I'm so excited about it. If that sounds interesting to you, then please keep watching. And if you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do perfume reviews and recommendations in my channel. Welcome. Starting with Coconut Sun by The Seven Virtues. So you can see I only have a small bottle over here. This has coconut water, fangipani, vanilla, and sea salt. But in their website, uh, sustainably sourced jasmine from Egypt is listed as well as orange flower and organic sugarcane alcohol. What I'm getting from this perfume is fresh coconut water, frangipani, jasmine, and a lot of salt. It is beautiful, I must say. But to be honest, I was expecting more. If you watch my channel, you know that I've been raving a lot about the, the perfume from Seven Virtues called Santalvani. And that perfume has coconut note as well that is so creamy and intoxicating. Um, so I was hoping that I will somehow get that vibe in this perfume, but to me, I think this has more salt. I get more salt. So it's definitely not that creamy. I get, I do get, um, those white flowers in there, especially jasmine and frangipani very tropical very nice um but it's just that to me it's not that unique enough um i have quite a lot of coconut and vanilla combo in my collection though this one is nice like don't get me wrong i think i just expected more i expected the coconut to be more creamy but instead the coconut here is more refreshing and less creamy mm. it's beautiful um but it's just an okay for me i still recommend you um trying it of course because what if you want more salt in your coconut vanilla perfume, right? Mm. Um, yeah, so that is Coconut Sun by The Seven Virtues. Um, by the way, I find this perfume quite moderate when it comes to longevity and projection. It's around four to six hours. The next perfume is Valaya. I don't have a bottle of it as I only have a decant and I was so excited to try this perfume because of course it's from my favorite perfumer Kenton Bish and ah, this is so beautiful it has bergamot mandarin white peach orange flower nymphereal vetiver akegala wood amber fix and musk what can I say? Kentin is the master of peach and akigala wood. He knows how to do his peach and akigala wood combo. Mm. Guys, I was so thrilled about this perfume and I must say that I'm not disappointed. This is very potent yet delicate. It reminds me so much of Delina and a little bit of Oriana. I don't know why. I think it's the musk feeling of it. It is very fruity. Definitely the peach is very potent on this one. On the skin, it is very well projecting, very long lasting as well. 
when I ordered my decants and tried to spray wear, this perfume stood out the most. So that means that this really has a very good sillage. And I must agree, um, to me, I'm getting so much peach. It is more fruity and musky. Like the dry down is very Delina-like. I love this perfume. I think this is perfect for springtime. I love the fact that it projects very well and the sillage is amazing as well. So um, yeah, I'm very interested in buying this perfume. However, I think I will wait for them to have a smaller bottle of this because right now I think they only have a big bottle and it's quite expensive. And um, to be honest with you, I feel like this is not the most unique perfume that I've ever tried this, this year. So like, do I like it? Actually, do I love it? I love it, but do I need it? Mm, maybe not. If they produce a smaller bottle of this, then maybe yes. Longevity and projection of this one is amazing, easily eight hours plus, and to me, it's very feminine. Yeah, that's Valaya by Parfums de Marly. Next perfume is another decant, and this is called Can't Stop Loving You by Killian. Hmm. This has orange blossom, paradisum, honey, oak moss, vanilla, and olivanum. What I'm getting is definitely orange blossom and a lot of honey. Mm. This one smells very luxurious to me. It definitely reminds me of Love Don't Be Shy. But this one is smokier and it has honey in it. I am normally not a fan of honey, but I'm telling you, I love the honey note in here. I love how it is done. By the way, this is a creation of a very famous perfumer as well, um, named Alberto Morillas. Mm. The dry down of this is very smoky on me. So it gives that um, mysterious and seductive vibe. I love this one. I really, really do. This has a very good longevity, I'd say around six to eight hours. Um, projection is not that big. However, it's still good. I love this one. However, I am thinking twice because of the price. This is very expensive and yes, I would love to buy this, but is it worth of the 200 euros price tag? Maybe yes, <laughs> actually. Um, this is different, you know, compared to Valaya, I feel like I can get that vibe of Valaya from a different perfume. However, this one is like just so dark and smoky. Love, don't be shy. I love it. So um, yeah, this one is definitely going on my wish list. And um, I feel like this is unisex. However, leaning more feminine. It's the honey note here that makes this a winner. This is a different kind of honey. I highly recommend you trying this one. That is Can't Stop Loving You by Killian. Next perfume is the very controversial, of course, Amawatch Guidance. This has the notes pear, olibanum, hazelnut, osmanthus, rose, saffron, jasmine sambac, sandalwood, vanilla, akigala wood, ambergris, and labdanum. I have mentioned this perfume many times in my channel already, so 
if you watch those, you know that I am in love with this perfume. Hence, I have a big bottle, right? So I first tried this when I was in Dubai Mall. I feel like it has that disturbing note in the beginning. And the staff actually told me that it must be the saffron. Um, and warned me that I will fall in love with the dry down of this one. So I continued my shopping around Dubai Mall. I didn't come back. I didn't buy it. The next day, when I was about to do my laundry, I smelled the same dress that the staff sprayed this perfume on. And it has the most beautiful scent ever. Like one of the most captivating fragrances that I have ever smelled in the longest time. Yes, that is quite a statement, I know, but that's the truth. This perfume is of course by Kantin Bish again. This has that rose, saffron, aki galawood, osmanthus, and pear. This is very creamy and powdery in the dry down. The opening is a blast of peach and saffron that might be a little bit disturbing, I must say. So I understand those people who has issues about this perfume. I think they are disturbed by something. Some people even describe it as body odor. And I do understand that. But you know what? I, I was only disturbed for quite some time, maybe maximum five minutes. And I don't know, I feel like the more I wear this, the more I don't smell the disturbing uh, note. I just really enjoy this perfume. I adore this. I hunted this down in the Dubai airport. Uh, I bought it there and just a tip. It is cheaper in the airport, uh, just in case you, any of you, just in case anybody is interested in buying this perfume, because I know that this can be very expensive, but in Dubai airport, this can be a little bit cheaper. So um, yeah, I highly recommend you first in trying this perfume because this is not a safe blind buy at all. And um, to me, this is my best fragrance discovery of 2023 so far. Yes, that's how much I love this perfume. So unique. Um, for me to buy a full bottle of this, it's not just because it smells amazing. It blew me away. And the uniqueness... Of this perfume is top-notch so yeah I highly highly recommend you trying this on your skin first overnight before judging okay and um, by the way the longevity and projection of this is mind-blowing eight hours and above as well so next perfume is a cheapie from Zara this is Zara red temptation summer this has lychee, raspberry, rose petals, peony, amber, praline, and musk. Mm. Guys, I'm just gonna say it. I love this perfume. Okay, I know, I know you can ask me, so is it like Red Temptation? I'm gonna tell you, yes. In my nose, the dry down of this is Red Temptation, at least on my clothes. I've tried this perfume two nights uh, and it left my pajama smelling like Red Temptation. However, on my skin, this is a blast of lychee, raspberry, and peony. So refreshing and airy. You have to be a lover of peonies in a perfume in order to love this. 
because I find this very heavy on that, very feminine. And I can definitely smell the Red Temptation in the background. Um, but it's not that identical that you don't need to have this if you have Red Temptation because as the name suggests, this is for summertime, Red Temptation Summer, right? <laughs> I think they put the summer there because this is a refreshing scent, which I highly agree. I am getting all the notes written um, in the profile of this perfume. Do I recommend it? Highly, yes. Do I love it to be part of my collection? Absolutely, yes. With the price of this, okay, how can you how can you say no this is like 20 euros 20 euros for an 80 ml bottle for a perfume that lasts between six to eight hours it is so good i highly highly recommend it. this is gold that is zara red temptation summer next perfume is the new scent released by Theo Cabanel called Deja Vu. The team of Theo Cabanel was so nice to send me a sample of their new release and I was so excited to try this because as soon as I saw the bubblegum note in their Instagram, I couldn't wait to try it. Guys, this is so beautiful. Wait, let me read you the notes. It has bubblegum, citron, raspberry, iris, jasmine sambac, orange blossom, faux leather accord, and white musk. What I'm getting are all the notes that they listed. Guys, it was black and white. You will definitely have that bubblegum note that is so nostalgic um the first time i sprayed this perfume i smiled and i smiled because i had a flashback in my mind it it's like that life in the early 2000s you know i spent my teenage years in the 90s slash early 2000s when um, you go to fairs, um, roller skates. This is the vibe that I'm getting from this perfume. However, it doesn't mean that this perfume is very juvenile. You know, what is interesting about this perfume is that the iris, jasmine sambac, and orange blossom are actually peeking through and making this perfume elegant. It has that flirty, fun, yet elegant character in it. That is so me. So I definitely recommend you trying this one out because to me, this perfume is a love. This is a very easy going fragrance, but with a touch of elegance in it, the leather and white mask in the base just put everything together for it not to have that too flirty vibe. I love it. I really, really love this perfume. Highly recommend you trying um, or get a sample of this perfume. Deja Vu from Tio Cabanel. And by the way, the longevity of this perfume is around six to eight hours. And do I love it? Yes. Do I need it? Yes. I will definitely need a bottle of Deja Vu. So now we are down to the last perfume. And I'm talking about Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. I'm not going to read to you the notes of this perfume because it has a lot. I'm just going to read to you what's written in the box. So this has pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, and cotton candy. Hmm. Guys, I was so 
intrigued by this one you know it really controlled myself in buying this one because i want to hear first the reviews from other people but then you know the reviews are so mixed that i was so confused and i think since the reviews are so mixed it will even attack your mind to buy it to see it yourself anyway i ended up buying a small bottle so yeah why because most people were actually saying that this is more clean perfume and actually right now i feel like i am going for a lot of clean and musky scent so having said that i bought this not because it's gourmand okay i bought this having in mind that this will be more of a clean or like musky scent and let me tell you yes it is what i'm getting are peach raspberry pear and peony in the opening and then like just a few minutes later let's say like two minutes the pistachio note will just make a short appearance and disappear and then the marshmallow and cotton candy and whipped cream will come out along with the hazelnut for the dry down this perfume is magical <laughs> Magical in a sense that it's not a pistachio gelato to my nose. You know, I'm going to tell you something. When I first tried this, all I get was like laundry vibe slash musk on the skin. It was a simple spray. All right. And then I tried it overnight wherein I sprayed it all over. I mean, over spray like 20 times around my body and in my pajama because it has a very weak longevity anyway so i'm thinking like oh this will be like nothing and okay i must say that it improved it's still like moderate but the thing here is that after i over spray though it started to be gourmand how come I don't know so this is my conclusion if i want to have that clean girl vibe i'll just spray a few and then if i want to have that gourmand feeling then i'll over spray um okay do i love it no but i like it do i need it well i have the 10 ml now and I think this is all I need. It is a nice perfume. However, I am disappointed with the longevity and projection of this. It's really weak and even weaker uh, compared to some Kayali fragrances. So, um, yeah, but I like the scent. Um, yeah, so that is Yum Pistachio Gelato by Kayali. So that is it for today, guys. That is my honest thoughts about this new fragrance releases. And actually, I have more coming. And I'll just keep testing the rest of the perfume so I can give you a more reliable review about the rest of the perfumes. Um, yeah. So I would like to know if you've tried any of this perfume and... What do you think of it? Uh, please write me down in the comments down below. Um, and yes, thank you so much for watching and see you on my next one. Bye.